Welcome back to Crypto Toro. On this video, I would like to discuss Chainlink, how it's currently performing, and what we could expect during the upcoming days and hours. But before doing so, I would highly appreciate if you could give me those thumbs ups down below and as well smash up that subscribe button to reach the 1.6k. So that would be absolutely amazing. And let's get started on what we're currently seeing on Chainlink. So I opened up the daily time frame and what i think is quite important right now is that we already have seen multiple touch points underneath this descending resistance therefore this is a confirmed descending resistance line on the daily time frame and even more important we have as well seen multiple touch points actually on top of this descending support so therefore this is a confirmed falling wedge pattern on the daily time frame meaning that we could perhaps see a major move towards upside if we manage to hold strong inside of this pattern and eventually see a breakout occur above the descending resistance and further continuation of movement towards the upside so for sure right now i'm looking forward to see if we could perhaps stay inside of this pattern and if further development might lead towards a possible breakout heading all the way towards its previous all-time high at approximately $52.36. So that's for sure something I'm looking forward to, to see this major increase on Chainlink all the way from $15 where we are currently trading at. Perhaps we are going to retest once more the descending support, but afterwards we could see a possible breakout and a major move towards the $52 getting started. So that is absolutely something I think is crucial for its current price action. So let's get started by placing a Fibonacci retracement on the daily time frame from swing low towards swing high and right now i will be heading actually right away towards the four hourly time frame and zoom in to the immediate short term what i think is quite important right now to see is actually if we take a look at previous data we can clearly see that we got supported for quite a while on top of the 78.6 percent fibonacci at 17 dollars and 94 cents therefore if we do right now see a major increase taking place this will be a level that we for sure have to take into consideration that might be a major level of resistance therefore i am going to monitor the 78.6 percent fibonacci closely but if we zoom out a bit further and actually take a look at the price action in the past what you can see right here is well i actually did not select this on the daily or on the four hourly but on the weekly time frame because i think that is the most important time frame where you can possibly see levels of support and resistance actually taking place and therefore i selected these two lines right over here on the weekly time frame we could clearly see well resistance underneath this area support on top of this range and as well resistance underneath so therefore these two levels for me are actually crucial at approximately $14.53 the first one on the upper part and on the lower target where we did see support being found on top at $12.13 therefore in the immediate short term I personally think these are absolutely levels that we have to take into consideration that are crucial for the price action of chain link so yeah that is something that I wanted to say for sure right away also let's take a quick look at the other indicators and see what we could perhaps expect within the upcoming hours and if we are going to see a further increase or perhaps decline taking place so by starting on a four hourly time frame and looking at the ema ribbon we can clearly see that it is serving as a level of resistance on top of us and what is actually important to me is that the ema ribbon is perfectly aligning itself with the 78.6 percent fibonacci therefore if we do right now see a possible increase this will be a very difficult level to break out above and that is for sure something we have to take into consideration once we reach towards this target because we could expect a rejection taking place once we head towards this direction so that is absolutely crucial to me also let's enable the macd to see what we could perhaps expect and what we are clearly seeing is that we already experienced momentum towards the upside but unfortunately we haven't seen major increase in chainlink spirals action we only held strong on top of this range at $14.53 meaning that if we do right now see a further well stronghold getting found on top of this area it could perhaps be the case that we will see eventually a decline in its momentum towards the upside and as well eventually a crossover and momentum towards the downside getting started and if we do not hold strong on the $14 range, we could perhaps see a further decline towards the $12.13 area, as I've said previously, as well a level 
where we would like to see support getting found. On the one hourly time frame, what I think is actually looking a little bit better is that we are already well retested the EMA ribbon several times. The EMA ribbon is right now actually once more getting retested. And what I think is looking great is that we did already experience well a minor crossover of momentum towards the downside. It wasn't a significant crossover, but still we did see momentum towards the downside. So therefore, if we do right now see once more a crossover and momentum towards the upside occur, it is perhaps possible that we are going to break out above the EMA ribbon and see that further continuation towards the $17.94. But for sure, once we reach this area, we have to monitor Chainlink's price action very closely because we could get rejected underneath or perhaps we are going to see enough momentum towards the upside to stay on top of this range and eventually create once more a stronghold on su of support on top of this area. So that is as well a possibility. And the MACD is actually looking good so far, but we are not seeing any type of bullish nor bearish divergences. So perhaps if we are not able to hold strong on the $14.53 range, we could as well see that decline taking place towards $12.13 as I've said previously, a major level of support underneath us. Also, let's discuss right away the RSI on the one hourly time frame and what are we actually seeing? We have been seeing these higher lows on the RSI, but unfortunately we did see actually lower lows on the chart, meaning that at this point in time, we did actually see a bullish divergence. We did as well see a major increase on the RSI, and right now we are not seeing any bullish nor bearish divergences. But what I think is good to know is that we are trading at the 50 range. So therefore, if we do right now see a further increase, we still have plenty of space to continue with the movement towards the upside and if we do not hold strong on top of the $14.53 it is likely that we are going to reach the $12.13 because we do as well have plenty of space to see further decline in Chainlink's price action. Lastly during this video we'd like to discuss the 4 hourly time frame and on the 4 hourly time frame what you can clearly see is that we were as well creating well these higher lows and lower lows on the chart so that is absolutely something I think does look very well but what is actually even better is that we are quite far down below on the RSI meaning that if we do right now actually see a further decline we will for sure be holding strong top of the $12.13 but if we do see a further increase we still have major space to see further continuation towards the upside so yeah that is for me personally looking very good so far but unfortunately we are right now seeing a minor bearish divergence taking place because we are seeing this lower high on the chart and a higher high on the RSI therefore we could expect right now movement towards the downside and this is giving me actually the confirmation that we could perhaps head towards the $12.13 and at this point in time what we would like to see is a stronghold getting created and that is for me personally for sure a possibility due to the fact that we are quite far down below on the RSI so if we break down below the $14.53 range we will be as well seeing a breakdown underneath the dotted line on the RSI, so therefore we could expect a stronghold getting found on top of the $12.13. So thank you very much for watching this video, hopefully you did enjoy the content, and if you did, do not forget to give me a big thumbs up down below, it will be highly appreciated, and you will be supporting the channel by doing so. Thank you very much, and have a nice day.